Michelle Prada is in the studio early this morning. Great mm-hmm. to meet you in person and have you in. Nice Thanks for coming. You. Thanks for having me. She stars in Vita, season two on Stars. Season two is a that's a big deal. It's uh it's been renewed also for another season too, hasn't it? For a third season, yeah. It just got announced a few weeks ago, so we're really excited about it. So you that. are cram I mean, it is really connecting, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I mean it's been it's been such an honor to get to bring a character like this to light. It's not every day that um, we get to really see such fully fleshed out women and I don't know, just literally get to be human beings on screen. I feel like it, it, it sounds cliche for me to say that the show breaks barriers, but in, in your view, why has it resonated with so many people? Well, I think, I mean, I, I think what's revolutionary about it is the fact that we're seeing these brown bodies and seeing, you know, these neighborhoods getting painted in this, in this way. But what's revolutionary is how normal it is. Mm-hmm. You know, you're like, oh, there's those neighborhoods in East L.A. It's gangs, it's drugs, it's this. And then you kind of actually get invited into the living rooms the way that our show does. And you're just like, oh, actually, yeah, I sometimes cry myself to sleep because I'm not really sure about my life or, mm-hmm. you know, or have like family issues or, or whatnot. So I think that that's, that's a big part that really makes people happy to see themselves kind of shown so lovingly. Well, Patty, you introduced it to me. You, you you were watching from early on and told me about it. I obsess since the first episode. <laughs> and like to see the streets that, you know, that you grew up in and then finally see them on, you know, on this platform when, they, you know, so, you know, for like your whole life, you know, I'm in my 30s and it's like it took it. I'm so glad to be alive to see our brown faces and stories on in platforms like these, you know, and because it doesn't happen. I didn't just, even realize I needed it until I was on set and looking around with all of these women and how, how much fun we had uh, making it. And I was like, oh, whoa, I didn't even realize I was missing this in my life until I had it. Right. It just feels so good. And, you know, to share. I, I don't my children don't watch the show. It's a little too much for them. <laughs> no, but but I'll, <laughs> I'll play it for them <laughs> when they're old enough. You know, I, I, every, I, I get to sneak in like I'm watching it. And then when the kids walk in, I have to, like, change the channel. <laughs> but like, it's a little it's a little you know adult for them but sexy. but yeah. i i get i get so proud of seeing you know because we're just like everybody else and that's the thing like i almost feel like people are like you know if you're if you're sharing a story about uh, the latino community you know the people that are making the decisions they they sometimes feel like they're alienating other other groups and it's like well no we we all we're it's a universal story where we all share we all feel the same way we all cry about the same things you know it's just we just happen to also most of us speak spanish mm-hmm. you know and that's really just the difference so it's just wonderful to see you know what you are doing and you know the rest of the girls it's awesome michelle tell us like your character what do you identify with in, in your character in vita uh, well, I tend to identify more with Lynn in, oh, really? as as a, as a, as a, the way my life has gone. Mm-hmm. Um, I definitely had a bit of that change um, when not that long ago, just you know, a few years ago, where I was like, I want a career. I really want to get to do something that isn't just kind of flying around, living that type of life. And I'm very lucky that you know everything worked out that I now do. Um, but I think there's also a part of Emma, that I really connect with in the sense of growing up in a neighborhood. I grew up in Hialeah, uh, Florida, mm. which is, you know, not very different from Boyle Heights. It's, a, you know, the hood in a lot of ways. And nobody around me was doing anything that I am getting to do now. Mm-hmm. Uh, so there was something that I, I didn't realize even until kind of delving into this character where you almost look at it as a badge of honor that you got out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then having to go back and be like, no, actually, this isn't something I've left behind. This is something that's just a part of me. And it's not something for me to ever be ashamed of. Like mm-hmm. I'd come to kind of all the fancy parties and I didn't know all the books that everybody had read. Right. But I knew Celia Cruz and I knew, you know, Willy Chirino and like different, you know, music and and realizing that that, that is actually an important part of me and not something that I just kind of have to like be like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm, that, I'm from there, but I'm not that anymore. I love that Stars yeah. is doing this, too. Um, yeah. S- season two is now available. Now, the other thing, I, I, you walked in like, I feel connected to you in some way. We're not from, I'm from Georgia, you're from Florida, mm-hmm. but I'm trying to figure out why is it that I feel like I'm connected to you? And I, it dawned on me why. Why? When's your birthday? <laughs> what? Not the year, just the date. No, I know. I, this is, okay, I have to talk, May 28th. 
May 28th? Yeah. Is that your birthday? No. Oh, okay. Because it says December 23rd in my notes. Oh. <laughs> so, so maybe I'm not connected to you. You're oh. not connected. Were you not born December 23rd? No, I was not. I was born May 28th. I don't know why that happened, but I actually really hate my birthday. Well, then you should change it to December 23rd because that's know. what's on my notes. I know. I feel like I'd rather I'd rather it be December 23rd. But so you're, you're, I'm December uh, 24th. So, yeah, so you're, you're a little present. Yeah, I'm a little, little I mean, yes, I'm a little no. present. I'm a little, I'm a little gift that fits in your jewelry box. That's the, that's who I am. It's it's lovely to meet you. I'm sorry that you're not a Capricorn as well. But I'm <laughs> um, IDB. What is this? What is this site? IMDb says that you're born December 23rd. Yeah. So I'll con- I'll contact them on your yeah. behalf. Thank and you. Tell them to correct that. But uh, you're just in wonderful stuff. It's such a pleasure to meet you. Thanks for coming in, Michelle. It was nice meeting you. Thanks. Michelle Prada you. stars. Uh, season two is available now. We're coming.